So, 1. So, we have graph. Fx is equal to negative x square plus x plus 6. So, we see A is equal to negative 1. B is equal to 1. C is equal to 6. So, sketch the value of A changes to negative 3. So, you see for A is smaller than 0. When the value of A decrease, the width decrease. When the value of A increase, the width increase. So, we see here, okay, so value of A change. If A increase, then the width increase. If A decrease, then the width decrease. So, as you see here, in 1, so A changes from A is equal to negative 1 to A is equal to negative 3. So, A decrease, which means the width decrease. So, when the width decrease, Y intercept, Y intercept remains. So, when it is decreased, so Y intercept is still the same. Just the shape, maybe something like this. See, it is decreased. Okay, so the width decreased. So, second, if A goes from negative 1 to A is equal to negative 1 over 4. So, A increase. So, the width also increase. But then, Y intercept remain. So, then it will be something like this. Y intercept is still the same. So, we will get something larger than the original graph. Okay. So, this one is the new graph for A to the inside one is A B B changes to negative 1. So, B is equal to 1. Goes to B is equal to negative 1. So, we see now, when B is changed to negative 1, the vertex will be negative. So, now we have vertex here. So, it's so still negative 6. But then on the negative side, something like this. So, vertex will be negative of the Y axis. So, all... So, all point will change. As you can see, all point will change except the Y intercept. C. C changes to negative 2. C is equal to 6. Goes to C is equal to negative 2. So, C is the Y intercept. So, we see here now the Y intercept is at 6. So, when C is equal to negative 2, the Y intercept is at negative 2. So, okay... Something like this. Okay, intercept at negative 2. So, you see here, the graph is moving downward. So, moving downward from 6 to negative 2. So, the movement is 6 minus negative 2 which is 8.